Hello, hello again ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, if like me you got completely taken by surprise by the uh, shock release of 1.3, then uh, join a line behind me and we'll go and have a go at... Uh, well, I don't know whether to have a go at or uh, to shake the hands of the, uh, the Frontier devs. <laughs> I was sitting there quite happy on the uh, the beta server getting to play it all a little early but uh, it is quite nice actually being able to have this out on the main servers now and uh, it's been quite an interesting little uh, time I have been up until now you may realize that I've been a little bit uh, well not a bit lax but I've been not doing so much with my main account at the moment and the reason for that is because I have been uh, trading my ass off to go and get myself a new ship. And those observant among you will have already noticed quite a while ago that I am sitting in my new ship. And <laughs> so let's go and have a look. I won't make you wait any longer. This is my brand new trade anaconda. And I have christened her Wolf's Den. Originally, I was going to name this ship for the Fortress, but uh, I thought Wolf's Den sounded a lot more kind of uh, a lot more um, fitting for this ship. Now, just look at this beast. She is absolutely amazing. She's fully fitted out for trading at the moment. And uh, not only that, but uh, she is she's armed well enough to defend herself. I have three large gimbaled pulse lasers, and I also have two medium seeker missile racks. So I have enough to be able to defend myself from any pirates that might come come along. But it has been a long ass time that I have been uh, looking forward to getting into this ship and I still can't believe that I've got it. So I am extremely happy with my current setup. Um, I feel like, I, oh, well, I'll be perfectly honest, I've been flying this, uh, flying around in this ship a little bit. I've only just bought it, uh, I haven't even had this for more than an hour yet. And uh, I've already had a few brown trousers moments in this ship, and I'll show you why. Because I'm not usually the advocate of um, being a little... Uh, being risky, let's say. But let's go and have a look in the outfitting department. And can you see where things are looking a little bit strange? That's right. I do not have the rebuy cost of this ship yet. <laughs> I am. I have less than a million credits to my uh, in my current balance now. So uh, I am flying around, really kind of uh, with my ass hanging out in the breeze, right now. If I get blown up, I am gone. But let's have a quick look. See, I haven't. I haven't filled out my huge hard point. I've got three large pulse lasers. I have two missile racks, and that's about it. That's all I've got for the moment. But that's all I need. Internally, I'm set for a fairly decent jump range. I've got a little bit less jump range than my Type 9. But uh, I am just going to fly around trading around Tetanang for a little while longer yet until I have enough money to pick myself up. Either the best jump drive or... Uh, well... Whoever I'm going to be trading until I get my um, uh, my rebuy cost there, so uh, I'm not going to be flying flying around uh, <laughs> with uh, constantly looking for a new pair of trousers. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to say about beyond of actually showing off that I've got a new ship was the fact that uh, I wanted to share with you guys what my plan for. 1.3 is currently. I mean, if you've been following me on my uh, Facebook group, uh, if you don't know about it already, it's called uh, the Wolfpack Central Command, and it is the it is my official Facebook group where the Wolfpack can come, meet up, uh, wing up with other people, meet other people, meet each other, and we will organise uh, things that are happening. 
But I've been talking in there about how I don't know which uh, faction I really want to go for right now. Uh, and I'm still not sure, to be perfectly honest. I have no idea who I really want to go for right now. So what I've decided to do is go for a little bit more of a mercenary approach to this. So what I am going to be doing is I am actually going to go around from one power, grind up with them for a little while, get to know them, defect and move on to the next. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to get to know the powers a bit, a bit better, find out a bit more about them. Because looking at their ethos and so on only tells you so much. Uh, I want to find out what fits me best. Plus I also want a chance to have a look at all of the... Uh, faction specific uh, modules. I want to have a look at all the weapons and I want to have a chance at looking at them and reviewing them. So this is the best way I can think of to do this. Now this is certainly not going to be a very a quick process but what I am going to be doing is charting my progress through each of these different powers and I am going to be doing videos on these powers as I go. I have actually already chosen my first uh, my first power and those of you who have been following me for a while will know that I am a big... I hate the Empire, but unfortunately I have had to go with uh, Isling Duvel. <laughs> now the main reason I have actually gone with uh, the Princess of the Empire is the fact that um, her faction specific uh, module is one that I am really, really interested in checking out. And that is the prismatic shielding that she will allow you to use. Now, that is something I am extremely interested in because I want to find out how much stronger these shields are and if they have a specific um, dedicated uh, graphical effect, whether if they look different or not. So, I'm going to be going and uh, grinding up, where, well, not grinding up, I am going to be going and working for the princess for the at least the next four weeks. So, hopefully, I am going to be able to go and get myself some prismatic shields. And the reason I have been doing so much trading on here, specifically to get to my Anaconda, is I want to try and find out and get as many of the different uh, faction specific items as I can on this ship and keep it still uh, workable. Like, I want to get the... Uh, I want to get the prismatic shields. I'm, I'm really tempted to try the drunk missiles. And I am curious about the, uh, the laser weapons and the um, the multi-shot railgun. I'm, I'm so curious about all these. I want to go and try all of them. And I think the ship that I'm in now is the best one that I, the best ship that I can think of to fit doing this. So that's what we're going to be doing. Is I, I'm going to be going around with Commander Dark Widow into uh, Isling Duval's uh, home territory. Not just yet, because there is a there is a because there is currently a community goal going on in the independent space. And I, it's a trade one, so I want to go and have a go at that and see uh, how much money I can make for that, because that will only going to help uh, kit out this anaconda. But that's pretty much what I am planning to do in 1.3, so that's pretty much just what I wanted to tell you guys. But uh, not only that, I uh, wanted to tell you as well that we do currently have uh, a new uh, way of getting in touch with each other. We have actually got a forum now. And I don't remember the address off the top of my head because, you know, I'm crap, I can't remember anything. But it will be coming along the bottom of the screen about now. So um, head on over there, sign yourself up, and we can start populating our new forums. And I have to say a big, big thank you to uh, Commander Gurge, for, I think it's Commander Gurge, unless I'm pronouncing this completely wrong, <laughs> for putting this together for us. It, it's absolutely amazing that I have such an amazingly awesome uh, community and I've I am I've got to say thank you to all of you every single one of you for coming and supporting this channel you are all epic but that's pretty much it for my announcements for today and uh, I am going to be going on to getting on to uh, recording the first episode of my Q&A series which uh, I actually got uh, people in the Wolfpack uh, Facebook group to vote on 
uh, I got them to vote for the name of what is going to be called. And uh, by overwhelming majority, uh, you all chose a name which I was not expecting to win. I was actually expecting to have my Q&A uh, series called The Wolf's Den. But uh, that wasn't to be, so I liked that name, so that's why I ended up naming my uh, trade anaconda The Wolf's Den. But the name of my Q&A series is actually going to be Refuel with Wolf. <laughs> so you voted for it, you've got that name. What I'm going to go do is get ready to go and uh, record the first episode of Refuel with Wolf. And uh, hopefully that will be up in the next couple of days. But anyway guys, I uh, hope this uh, video has been uh, informative to you. If so, please do hit that like button, it really does help this channel out. And um, if you haven't already, please do hit that big subscribe button, it really does help this channel out. And uh, until next time, Commanders, keep flying and stay shiny. And one thing I've got to say as well is don't forget to go and check out my uh, all the guys at the bottom of the video. Go check out their channels because they really do work just as hard, if not harder than myself, at uh, making content for their channel. So please go and show them our support. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you next time.